For us, the experts, sometimes owning two dogs can get a little challenging. Especially when they are vying for the spot of top dog. <laughs> Our resident pet vet, Dr. Katie Heinrich, here this after, afternoon with a, a good friend of mine. This is Gus. Gus. You dog sit? I dog sit Gus sometimes. So what does Gus do? Uh, when he's with us, he's pretty <laughs> chill. But when he's at home with his doggy mom and dad, uh, he tends to urinate on uh, little Charlie. So the, the other, other dog, dog in the house. The yeah. other dog in the house. Yes. So oh, what, can they, what can they do about this? Charlie gets a lot of baths. Um, so in, in, his, in his particular situation, it's kind of a case of mistaken identity mm -hmm. because what happens is they go outside in the morning together and, and Gus is fully housebroken, so this doesn't happen inside. But when he's outside on the flat lawn, um, the little chihuahua is actually the tallest thing out there, and male dogs as we most people know, like to mark their territory okay. and they like vertical objects because <laughs> if the urine's a little higher, it's more noticeable to other dogs going by. You know, they smell it, they think, oh, it's a, that's a big tough dog, I should stay away. You know, it, it attracts more attention when it's high up. And so this uh, poor other brother dog <laughs> It's the um, only thing in the is, yard. Is the tallest thing in the yard. <laughs> that's huge right there. And that's, and that's what Gus goes for. Yeah. So. so in this case, if you give him, if you put something in the yard that's taller, problem right, solved? Right, that you, yep, yeah, I, w I would think so. That something you don't care that they're urinating on every day, um, that, that would probably help a lot. Other than that, it's a matter of just redirecting him every time he goes towards the other <laughs> dog to, to do that. <laughs> You know, you get a ball, you get a treat, you get something else, and you redirect him to do something else till he forgets about it. But, but there uh, are other top dog issues when you have two dogs in the same house. Oh, certainly, yes. Um, so it, you can have issues with um, attention. I mean, they're often, a lot of times they're like little kids. You know, they, they want what the other dog has, whether it's food or treats or a bone or attention, and, and that's what they're going to go for. And dogs, they do, they will naturally establish a pack order. And uh, people can actually... Uh, unknowingly um, cause problems because people tend to feel sorry for the underdog, the dog that is not dominant. And so they try to give that dog things first. They try to let him out the door first. Mm -hmm. They try to carry him around first, you know, give him extra attention. But that actually confuses the dogs. And you, you so generally, if you have a dog that has is a set alpha dog and you have, you know, a beta dog, you actually want to take care of the alpha dog's needs first and just, because dogs are more comfortable when they know their place in the pack. They don't care if they're above or below. They just need to know their place in the pack. So you can, in a inadvertently confuse them, if, if, you know, if you kind of let your emotions and, get in the way a little Gus bit. Gus here was the second addition to the family, mm -hmm. so he showed up and just rocked Charlie's world. Yeah, that can, that can happen, and if, if packing, Gus is... pack order changes. Yes, and if Gus clearly is, you know, the alpha dog in that household, then you have to support him in that role, and then, honestly, Charlie will be happier that way, too, because then it's not confusing for them. All right. So it's the people's <laughs> fault. <laughs> not always, Dr. but Katie sometimes. Thank you. <laughs> Gus, welcome. good to see you, buddy. Got a question for the experts. Email ask the expert at tmj4.com or leave a number at the voice, a voicemail at the number on your screen.